Welcome back guys to some more Sims 4 Rags to Riches Extreme Challenge. We are live on Twitch right now. If you guys want to see me live and play through this, head on over to my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash sue on YouTube. You guys will see it on screen right now and also check the link in the description. There is a link to my Twitch page. Go see me there. I'll be live in a couple hours time, maybe two or three hours after this video publishes. So please do consider coming over and helping me out live as I play through this series. Also check out my Twitter, which is also linked down below so that you're notified as soon as I go live and you will be able to log in directly to see me play uh, on Twitch. So yeah, I would appreciate your help. I would love to have you guys in chat to help me out. So please do consider joining me there. But anyway, today's video is going to be very important. We're going to head into uh, our family here, Austrian Brands family, and continue making some cash, but also work on building a new house possibly. So let's head on in and see how well we do here. Like this video if you guys are enjoying the series, subscribe using the red button down below, and let's move on with today's episode. Psych! This is actually a voiceover because I made an amateur mistake when I live streamed this a couple days ago. That is, I accidentally muted my microphone, so the whole stream, I was literally streaming the game only, none of my voice made it into the recording, nor to the live stream, and yeah, that's a bit of an amateur hour mistake, but we are going to make up for it by doing this voiceover. I'm not usually confident with voiceovers, I prefer having live reaction to lifetime events on the games, so yeah, it's a bit awkward to some degree, um, but I think I'm gonna try my best here. Of course, uh, we started off with Summer, our current wife in the family, having this weird infection, tiger streaks on her face and body, and then it just suddenly seemed to disappear, so that was quite interesting. Uh, and then we focused on our career for the first half. We wrote another song, we also published another song, licensed another song, and we focused on our acting career to try and maximize our profit, and we were able to amass a huge amount, almost 10,000, 10 bags, and we also got promoted to sitcom star so we are slowly making gains in our career so that is good to see we're going to make more cash we're going to have more uh, financial stability in the family and but of course we also focused on summer holidays career as a detective and we were just going through crime scenes looking for clues and analyzing samples from those uh, crime scene uh, crime scene evidences pretty much but that is pretty much the side part of the whole story. The main mission here is to build our house, and that is what we focused on uh, for most of the video. Almost half of the episode was pretty much focusing on building a new home for the Brandt family. Very important, of course, because we need to successfully complete uh, certain objectives to finish this challenge, of course. Right now, what we're working with is uh, we need to build a three-bedroom, two-bath, one living room, one kitchen, one dining, and one one study with a computer and one garden and pool. So the gardening I will not get involved with in this episode uh, since we're gonna focus on the main house first. I want something you know very chic, very modern and I think it turned out well to be honest. Um, one thing that I wanted to do was incorporate a certain things in the house such as a bar. I wanted a nice bar in the kitchen area. I wanted a nice open area but I also like when I build my houses to have some elevation changes within the house so I opted for the living room to be a little elevated than the rest of the house and that is exactly what what we included plus we were able to build in a small little bar area into the living room which will look exceptionally nice uh, for the style of house that we have and then I opted for the dining room dining room I thought I just need a nice little table sizable table maybe like six people can sit there and thankfully in the sims all the chairs connect to the dining table so I was able to fit that in nicely and then to the living room, I wanted an upstairs as well, mainly because we have to fit in two, uh, three bedrooms and two baths, and the best way to do that is to do it upstairs. The main issue I have with The Sims is that you can't really have an open area, so I like to make the stairway open, but the game just won't allow it. I couldn't delete the ground floor off of there, so it's a bit of a shame that I had to do that, but you know what, the game's the game. If you guys have any comments or like uh, tips on how to do that, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't like to use, uh, what is it called, uh, mods 
yeah mods or I, I i think people have done like cheat codes to get rid of um floors but i found that it breaks the game too much so i like to just opt for uh, basic game mechanics to try and sort that out living room area and then i planted a nice little tv slash uh electronics section with the couches that we already had invested in um with the coffee table as well and then i add the rug in there later as well but i added a nice little bookcase facing the other direction maybe i might flip it to make a point into the living room rather than towards the dining room but i felt like it looked nice pushing it towards the dining room instead but let me know what you guys think uh plus one thing that i wanted to do was to build a little studio in the corner back corner of the living room and that's where i wanted to put our computer uh, and i think it did turn out well i am also considering maybe expanding the studio like one block on each side and then you know lowering the ground so that it's like a step up as i said earlier like i love elevation changes in houses like minor elevation changes um added a bunch of windows in that area as well just to keep it li well lit but upstairs wise mainly i wanted to fit in a nice large bathroom for the ensuite of the master bedroom and then a nice little bathroom well it's not a little really little it's quite sizable but another bathroom for the other members of the house so there were two bedrooms that i'm going to make that are like semi-small i am also considering expanding that a little i want to add more balcony area so uh, i am considering uh, finding ways to incorporate balconies in this game um, in our house which i think is going to be impressive i think balconies are going to make the highlight of the house to some degree uh but yes the bathrooms are sizable um put two baths like a shower slash bath in there to be able to one let the baby shower because you need a bath in order to do that to take care of the child but also it's the most expensive one out there we want a nice sturdy bath so that we don't have to constantly renovate and constantly fix it uh, for the master bedroom i kept a simple uh, a nice queen size bed king size bed that we already had in the house um, and then we added some paintings in the bathroom that we stole off of the <laughs> wall of the nightclub when we were there because our character is a kleptomaniac um, but overall, I think the house turned out well with the master bedroom, a nice little brown bed. Um, the bed, I mean, I didn't really change. The child's room, I wanted to keep that as one giant room, but then I decided, you know what? We need two bedrooms anyway, two additional bedrooms. So I just decided to cut that in half, Solomon style, so to say. <laughs> and we only have one child right now, so one of the bedrooms is occupied. The other bedroom is pretty much in the guest room. Yeah, overall, I think we did well. The decoration of the rooms, though, was one of the more difficult ones. I have a slight bias towards wooden floors like wooden paneled floors so i went with the brighter like woody color for the floor and then i had a long time trying to decide what kind of wallpaper i wanted something rustic so or something just simple and to be honest i messed around with the colors a bit and in all honesty my method of putting on wallpaper isn't the greatest so i went for something two-toned like a little brown and a little brighter brown slash yellow it looked good so that's what i opted for and then with the upstairs we did a similar thing a lot of wooden panels and uh, a lot of like brighter colors especially with the children's room i went for like a plain brighter like like a pastel color and then with the parents room i went for some darker colors um the master bedroom so to say i went for a little darker color i think we've done super well with this with the budget that we had and i think we did very well i am tempted to try and expand with the balcony stuff so we'll see how that goes also we have some space in front of the house by the bathroom so maybe we can add a uh, balcony area by the bathrooms i haven't thought of that but maybe it is an option to explore but anyway that is it pretty much for the house i think it worked out very well the bar looks great by the way um we added a nice little computer in the study area a uh, nice dining room finally got a dining room we don't have to sit on the couch all the time and eat overall i like this house and some of you guys may already recognize where the design uh, inspiration came from. Some of you may know it, some of you may not, so here it is. Well, I took the inspiration of this house from possibly one of my favorite games called Heavy Rain. Um, Heavy Rain start opening sequence, Ethan, who is the main character, lives in an architect's house because he is an architect and that house looks absolute fire. So I decided to try and mimic it a little. Uh, he has this nice little 
office space next to the living room it's actually like kind of dropped off or like there's a corridor leading to it but i did i just got rid of the corridor because i don't think it really matches the house but also i didn't have space but anyway I prefer it this way and I think it turned out well. Um, given the ramifications of the Sims game, what it allows and what it doesn't, I think that's the best we could do and I think this house looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think uh, about this house down below in the comments. Sorry again that this is not a live reaction but instead it's just uh, me voicing over this because of my amateur mistake. So hopefully you guys are understanding with that. When I go live in a couple hours time, I will make sure my microphone is on and hopefully you guys will hear me live as I play through this and hopefully we can achieve our goal soon. We've made so much progress, we've completed the house. What we need now is to wait for the gardening aspect and the pool and I have some great plans for that. So hopefully we will have a nice house ready for us and then we can just strive to get a, hun uh, a million in the bank. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully the voiceover was great uh, or to your liking. Thank you guys so much for your time today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, use the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. I'm going to be continuing this, seas uh, this series consistently. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on the fun that we have on this channel. Also, check me out on Twitch. I keep saying that, but yes, do check me out on Twitch. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys at the next episode.